What is going on guys? Today I bring you yet another Destiny video and today I want to showcase to you guys what in my opinion is an amazing PvE weapon and you won't have long to actually pick it up because when it comes to that weekly uh, reset vendor rolls and weapons and armors as we all know gets like basically reset so a fresh roll on a certain, well, on every weapon in the tower uh, offered by vendors will change. Uh, the Vanguard Quartermaster in the tower this week has a weapon called the Angel's Advocate, which is a scout rifle. Now, if you guys are a fan of the Mira Multitool or the Fatebringer, this weapon is kind of like they both had a baby. And I'll show you guys it right now. The weapon is just an absolute fucking beast for PvE, it really is. It is the best of both, the Fatebringer and the Mira Multitool. It shoots like a Mira, but it's got Firefly, uh, Explosive Round, and Outlaw, like... The Fate Bringer. Obviously, the Fate Bringer now, year 3 version, has Arc Burn, but that is an exotic. If you want to use the Galahorn, the Sleeper Simulant, the Truth, or anything else, you can't use the Fate Bringer at the same time. This is where this weapon comes in. It's a great, great PvE weapon, guys. You mark my words. In the background now, you're seeing a little bit of PvE footage with it. But it's definitely, in my opinion, worth your marks. I mean, there's nothing else, really, this week across the tower worth purchasing, to be honest. There's absolutely not really. There's a couple of gold shells. But that's about it. There's no weapons. And I mean, the amount of legendary marks now you can get per week, um, you may as well pick this up because you'll get 100 next week within Jiffy. I mean, five weekly story missions. You get 100 marks for that. And you can do them five off the bat, five in a row. You don't have to wait and do one per day. You can do them five in a row. And then that is, that's not included. The countless legendaries you'll get and dismantle and get legendary marks for, etc., etc. So you may as well pick this weapon up and give it a go because... Like I said, otherwise your marks are just going to sit there and gather dust. But it's definitely, definitely worth it in my opinion. The weapon just wrecks faces in PvE, really does. And you won't be disappointed with it, let me tell you guys. I mean, the stability is a little... It's a, it's a little iffy, but it ain't too bad. And I mean, like I said, it shoots pretty quick as well. So you can actually tap the trigger quite quick and do quite a lot of damage as well. I haven't tried that in PvP, but I wouldn't say it's an amazing PvP role. For this, top, for this kind of weapon, you want more stability on a weapon like this because you have to spam that trigger real quick. And if you're trying to control uh, stability at the same time, it just ain't going to end well for you. But yes, guys, head to the Vanguard Quartermaster in the tower. Pick this weapon up. Try it out. You will not be disappointed. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for stopping by as always. Do smash that like button. I do appreciate the support. As always, remember, leave a comment down below in that comment section if you want to be with a chance of winning my weekly uh, emblem giveaway. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos. Press that bell button next to that subscribe button so you receive email notifications of when I upload. And as always guys, I will see you on that next one.